POC Network here. We have another unboxing. This time we have the Sound Shaker. Sound Shaker. And what this is, is a wireless transducer or driver that adds immersion to what you're listening to in the home theater system. Games, movies, all that stuff. So you see it, you hear it, but now you can feel it. Of course, that sounds kind of familiar, kind of like the Thunder Mods. Thunder Mods, the thundermod.net, something like that. Hey, where did that come from? But anyways, this is a wireless version of one of those. This adds immersion to what you're listening to or watching. And uh, so you can feel it. You can get into the action. Something explodes. You feel it. Your seat is shaking and so forth. So gunfire, blah, 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 bass and music, club music, boom, boom, boom. You feel it. And so this is a wireless solution so you don't have to run a wire around your room. Of course, it's not going to be completely wireless because you're not going to be able to throw some batteries in this bad boy because it's going to probably die out in a matter of 10 minutes or less. But um, signal-wise, wireless. So all you're probably going to have to do, I'm sure, is find a place to plug in. But we haven't popped this open yet, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look inside, see what it looks like, and you're going to go to the website at plcnetwork.net and see what we have to say about it. But for now, let's see what it looks like. We'll start off with the transducer itself. I'm going to pop this open. And first off, we have a little bit of a cable here. And we have the transducer itself. Get rid of that. Oh uh, yeah, Ooh. it's heavy. Uh, we have a connection point right here. You would connect the cable to and then run this to your power, which I'm assuming, hopefully, is inside here because all this comes with is an Allen wrench so that you can custom, or not customize, but you know, um, drill this into your, uh, you drill the plate into your couch or your chair and screw the transducer onto the plates. This is a two-piece. You just got one, two, three, four points of contact here that you'd have to unscrew to be able to accomplish that. So throwing that off to the side. Now we have the amp. So what this is, this actually feeds the transducer. So it actually makes me wonder, wireless, wait a minute. So maybe the amp, yeah, okay. So amp is wireless. This isn't wireless. This connects to the amp. So the amp will be hidden maybe behind your couch or chair or something on the floor or whatever. And then the, uh, the, the amp itself has a wireless signal coming from your receiver. So moving forward that now that we, I think we've cleared that up. Again, first time opening this up. We spoke to them um, before receiving this in the mail. Product seemed pretty interesting, kind of exciting. So beyond that, we haven't had any hands on with this yet. So we'll put that there so you can see it, or can you see it? Cool, now I gotta move this. All right, see, where would I be without instruction? All right, so we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna have the Allen wrench right there. You have a manual. So the manual's gonna walk you through installing it and how everything connects together to answer the questions that I clearly had to answer myself because I decided to do this before reading the manual. You have the power connection. So this, uh, this is gonna be for the amp to the wall. You have some cableage here. You have an auxiliary. So this looks like just mono to stereo solution. And then you have uh, a, a breakout cable. So if you have uh, mono, uh, this will give you, uh, if, yeah, breakout solution. <laughs> um, let's see here. So this is going to be your cableage. So you can wire it up. Uh, this is kind of cool. It looks like you can break off, uh, daisy them all together. Uh, so you're not just running one. Uh, you would actually come out of the amp and into one location where you install one of the drivers, continue on, install another one. It's kind of like outdoor lights, you know, string lights or Christmas lights even, but more so the string lights, the bulbs and everything. Uh, so it looks like you can do one, two, three of them on a single strand and maybe even jump off and do some more, hard to say, but does have the connection or and or this probably four because this will probably be your last driver or transducer on the network of things. So moving on from there, uh, this is going to be another uh, plug. So the other one might have been for this, uh, hard to say, both of them have regular AC kind of input or DC converter to AC. Get rid of that. Moving on to this. 
Now, so this is gonna be what sends the signal from your receiver to the system. So this connects to the receiver. Uh, you got your audio input here. So you would come out of the, you come out of the mono out, your sub on your receiver. Uh, so you might wanna, that's probably what this is gonna be for. So you can split the sub out and send one signal, uh, excuse me, to this and one signal to your sub because most subs are mono in nature. So, and this will send the wireless signal out. So that explains that. And here you have the receiver, the receiving end, as well as its tray that it sits nicely into. Just like that. So you have the option. You have uh, you can display it, you know, somewhere just like this, uh, or you can pop this out, and it has feet on the bottom, so you can display it flat if you'd like. And then this, the back. This is where this piece, uh, the actual line, would connect to to feed all of the drivers. You have your DC input, uh, audio in, uh, three point five millimeter or a headphone out, and uh, that's it. So you can control your crossover from here. Uh, you can, can you got your power and which is also your volume. And wireless, you have the option of Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So you got two different modes to choose from, and then code, which I'm guessing is a sync option to sync it to this, which will more than like more than likely have a code as well. On off. So um, this is probably I'm gonna guess Wi-Fi or wireless. Uh, uh, not exactly Wi-Fi, but their wireless signal, and Bluetooth is maybe if, yeah, for those amps that are sending signal via Bluetooth wirelessly already. So there you have it. This is the sound shaker, and uh, so again, what this does is you have a receiver uh, that's receiving from this. This is your transmitter. This connects to your normal receiver, your AVR, your amp, um, which normally distributes sound to all your speakers. You just do the sub out, connect into this. This sends a wireless signal. It's received by the receiver, AKA also the amp. This feeds all the drivers through a chain of up to four, it looks like. And uh, the drivers, they install to your couches, your chairs, and everything else. And what they do is they shake things up. They give that immersion to what you're listening to. So again, so you can watch the movie you're, you're watching, you can listen to the movie you're watching, and you can feel the movie you're watching. Sound Shaker. So check it out at plcnetwork.net. We're going to go into this and tell you what we think about this. We're going to hook it up and uh, see if we like it or not. And of course, if you want more close-up pictures or anything else uh, of that nature, another good place to go. So plcnetwork.net. The story should be out soon. And as always, we thank you for watching. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.